So now there are different designs which the dimensional model can have, and these designs have a, there's a preference of one design over another. So the simplest design is the star schema. Star schema is basically one single fact table connected directly to all the dimension tables. So if you have 10 dimension tables, then there would be a fact table, the fact table that you're uh, using for the report, that would be directly connected to all the 10 dimension tables. Now, what is obviously the advantage of this design? The advantage is basically these are single joins, single straight joins. So now if I want to see that what was the quantity, how many customers or how many customers uh, bought this product, single product in a day in this particular store, what I need to do is extract the value, extract the customer IDs from the fact table, do a straight join to the customer dimension table. So that's one single join and fetch the customer name and then the product ID, fetch the product ID from the fact table, do a single join to the product dimension, fetch the product name, and then just output that information in my report. So these are single joins, which are obviously very fast, so your report would come out very fast. So the business user would be very happy because the report is coming out fast. So this is a design, which is a simple design, and it is basically the advantage of this design is uh, Efficient queries, SQL queries, faster SQL output. So that is the advantage of this design. But then it's not always possible to store the data in this simplistic design. So that's why we have another design, which is known as a snowflake design. Now well, that is basically, uh, it. here comes the concept of normalization. So it's basically normalizing the table. Normalization of the table is nothing but removing the duplicate information from the table. Because again, what would happen if you have duplicate information in the table, you repeat the same information for uh, different records in the table, then your uh, volume will increase, there would be more space needed in the database, and more space translates to more cost. So that is what no business user would want. So that's why we have this snowflake design. Now snowflake design is basically splitting the major dimension or the master dimension into small dimensions, sub dimensions, so sub uh, subcategory or something like that, those kind of tables. So here in this example, you have a product dimension, and then you have a brand key, which is the fourth column from the top. So this is the brand key. And then you see that there's a brand dimension. Then there are different package type dimensions and storage type dimensions and so on. So they have split them into different sub, sub tables. Now, if they had not done that, if it would have been a star schema, all this information which goes into these different uh, sub tables, like the brand information, the package type information, the storage type information, would have ended up in the same product dimension table. And then, now for the same product, for like say 10 products, the brand information would have been the same. So one brand would contain, let's say 10 products, and you would be repeating that information in the product dimension table. Repeating that information, creating duplicates, basically for that information, for that column, and using more space. So to avoid that, and to have more efficient storage, as well as more efficient maintenance. Now this kind of structure is more efficiently maintained as well. So only if your brand description changes, I only need to go to the brand dimension table and update it once instead of updating it for 10 records in the product dimension table. So that is the advantage of this design. So anything that changes needs to be updated only once in the sub table and not in the master table multiple times for multiple records. So that makes the maintenance a lot easier. So that is why we have this snowflake design. Now snowflake design, what is the disadvantage of this design? Obviously, now the fact table, if it's, if we want to fetch the brand information, brand description, then the fact table has to make a join to the product dimension table on the product key. And then from the product dimension table, you have to fetch the brand key and the brand key would then make a join to the brand dimension table and then fetch the brand description. So now for the same query that we had in star schema, it would have been a single join, just joining to the product dimension table and fetching the brand description. 
now in the snowflake schema that converts to uh, to double join and in if you go to other tables like the category dimension and so on it would come it would convert to multiple joins so more number of joins in the snowflake schema making the queries a little bit slower so that is the disadvantage of the snowflake schema also when the user because the user would have access to your data warehouse data they would be able to see the structure it it would not be easier for the user for the business user to understand how these things are related because they are not technical people so it would be difficult for them to understand so that is why when the the presentation layer is made what is visible to the business user is the layer in the reporting framework which is made to look like a star schema so that they can easily understand the relationship but in the back end in the data warehouse you would actually be having a snowflake schema now what do most of the data warehouses have then whether which one to choose the star schema or the snowflake schema so you would see any large data warehouse and because you are talking data warehouse it has to be large there have to be large number of records so a star schema would be too simplistic so Keep it star as much as you can, and then all the bigger dimension tables would be split into sub tables because of easier maintenance and normalization and removing the duplicates and all that. So it would be uh, broken into snowflake tables. So it would mostly be snowflake, but the, mostly the high level view would be the star schema. So they would try to keep it as star schema, but the bigger tables cannot be maintained as such, so they have to be split down. the bigger dimension would be split into snowflake schema so you'll find a mix of star and snowflake in most of the actual data